Welcome to this webcast of ASCLO 101, the introductory session for the Association of Specialized and Cooperative Library Agencies, a division of the American Library Association. My name is Lily Sakharo, coming to you from ASCLO's membership committee and as regular host of the ASCLO 101 session each year at ALA Annual. It is my pleasure to be representing this wonderful organization. Please stay tuned to learn more about the strengths, goals, and values of ASCLA, explore our member offerings, and find out the variety of ways you can get involved with us. ASCLA's mission statement states that our primary goal is enhancing the effectiveness of library service by advocating for and providing high-quality networking, enrichment, and educational opportunities for its diverse members who represent state library agencies, libraries serving special populations, library cooperatives, and library consultants. These are the four original core groups encompassed in our division, which we will cover more in depth shortly. ASCLA is the premier destination for ALA members to find information about and build capacity to serve our core populations. This comes from our vision statement and is reflected in our strategic plan, revised in 2016 to align with ALA's strategic directions in the areas of advocacy, information policy, and professional leadership and development. The plan, available on the ASCLA website, demonstrates our commitment to a unified ALA. ASCLA is a product of a variety of ALA groups coming together to explore common interests and gain momentum towards similar goals, a feature of our division that holds strong today. ASCLA was founded in 1977 when two divisions joined forces. Our Independent Librarians and Consultants group merged later from an existing roundtable. The broad description of groups represented in these mergers helps define our name. Specialized and Cooperative Library Agencies. Although ASCLA is the smallest ALA division with membership steadily between about 7 and 900 over the past several years, remember that we're one of a kind not only for each individual group we represent, but for the fact that these groups join together in an association to merge our talents and share our interests. Some may call us a mixed bag, but we actually represent a wide range of excellent fits and strong specializations, and so maintain exclusivity as the ALA home for our core areas. Let's take a few minutes to overview the constituent bodies represented by ASCLA members. The first is librarians serving special needs populations, including patrons with sensory, physical, health, or behavioral conditions, and their dedicated allies. For this reason, joining ASCLA was a clear choice for me when I entered the library field. Nearly every event related to universal access or disability services, my primary areas of interest, was sponsored by this division and had a lot of overlap in the people I met. Several years into my ASCLA involvement, though, I find I've been learning a lot about the other major groups in the division. One of those includes representatives of state library agencies, a really broad group. These organizations and the people who serve them promote statewide library services, local government offices and efforts, and the workers in such institutions who make it all possible. The category of library networks and cooperatives can refer to entire libraries sharing resources as well as particular services or affiliations. Members of and workers for networks like CARLI, the Consortium of Academic Research Libraries, Amigos Library Services, a unity-supporting nonprofit, and state-based groups like OhioNet and RAILS in Illinois are welcomed by and encouraged to collaborate through ASCLA. Our consultants and independent librarians compose a rapidly expanding segment of the library world. Our profession increasingly includes many library-trained individuals working in other capacities or outside of a library environment. Specialists in this category have a community here in ASCLA where their work is defined more broadly than placement in traditional categories. Tribal librarians are also supported by ASCLA in sustaining contact with others in the field and promoting collective interests. More recently, ASCLA has widened its gaze to include a growing number of librarians serving people who are incarcerated or detained. 
We also have a new interest group dedicated to librarians focusing on public health, which I feel demonstrates our openness toward finding new ways to incorporate people looking for a home in ALA. It may surprise some to know that in 2014, a survey of our membership had 78% of respondents saying that they actually belonged to or considered themselves a part of more than one ASCLA category. The chart displayed on screen shows the four core categories, listed here as state libraries, consortia, consultants, and those serving people with disabilities, being fairly evenly represented, each one selected by 36 to 47 percent of respondents. ASCLA includes state librarians working to support people with disabilities, consultants for library cooperatives, people working with public health issues in prison libraries, and many more. Several of us think of ourselves as spanning two or more areas, and there is quite a lot of crossover within ASCLA's interest groups. Those who may start out with an interest or specialization in one area are, as a result of being part of ASCLA, quite likely to learn about work in several additional areas of librarianship. Because members need not be only or entirely centered in one of our categories, there tend to be many similarities in theme and work philosophies. ASCLA members are particularly passionate in their work to ensure universal access to materials, programs, and services for as broad an audience as possible. Many of us regularly work with populations of library patrons and sometimes library staff that may be underserved, underacknowledged, or underrepresented in the field or nationwide. We want to stimulate professional growth as a whole facilitate and promote the ability to do so, and learn from each other by sharing our experiences so others may draw from our body of work. We rely on our membership for the strength of all these possibilities, not only for their input to ASCLA, but spreading our philosophies and practices across wider ALA. When you become an ASCLA member, you'll be granted access to the best national peer network for librarians serving our constituent populations, top quality leadership and professional development opportunities, and relevant, timely, and useful information affecting the field. ASCLA is one of 11 ALA divisions, like ACRL, PLA, or YALSA. Like all other divisions, it is governed by a board of directors, including a three-year rotating presidential system. One elected member serves a year as vice president or president-elect, a year as president, and a year as immediate past president. In addition, ASCLA has liaisons to ALA Council, the ALA Executive Board, and other large groups like the Freedom to Read Foundation and the Task Force on Equity, Diversity, and Access. Day-to-day -day operations are handled and overseen by our hard-working ALA staff members. Falling under ASCLA are several committees and interest groups, each with their own chair or convener, that report their activities and membership to the division. Our interest groups represent the majority of specialized areas that have been mentioned here broken down even further. Participating in these groups is among the most active part of ASCLA membership, as they plan and present conference programs, present or sponsor webinars, write articles for ASCLA's e-newsletter interface, hold discussion forums, publish standards, books, or professional codes, create new ASCLA products, and hold a variety of social gatherings and networking sessions. You'll get more field-specific, up-to-date info, make additional connections, and can plan for and create materials to be used across and outside of ALA. Even if you're not an ASCLA member, you can still join our interest groups free for a year to test the waters and see if we're the right place for you. Alongside the excellent ALA staff serving ASCLA, our committees are what keep things running. Appointments span two-year terms. Whether you have a skill set that lends itself to a specific committee, like web presence, publications, or online learning, or if you're just interested in exploring further involvement with us, everyone is encouraged to volunteer. Our membership is among the broadest ranging and most widely representative of the library profession. As we grow our resources and increase member involvement, our contributions as an organization to the library field are all the stronger. 
Among our recent initiatives was the call for and creation of an ALA Conference Accessibility Task Force, which will help to ensure that people facing barriers to accessing programming and services can equitably participate in conference activities. This benefits ALA members regardless of their affiliations, adds more voices to the conversation, and promotes some of librarianship's most critical values. We also honor committed professionals with awards each year. Nominating someone helps us recognize the hard work and incredible service our members provide to their communities. Hosted and sponsored along with COSLA, Chief Officers of State Library Agencies, our awards ceremony highlights past and recent achievements, particularly in areas of strong leadership and program development. Join us all there at Annual for a snack, a story, and an opportunity to meet new, inspiring people. We have several opportunities each year at on-site conferences for meeting and mingling, including our ASCLA 101 session, the awards reception, and our President's Program at Annual, as well as a midwinter happy hour and a leadership session, 2016 shown in the photo here with guest speaker, author and editor Stephanie Caporell, where we focus on ways to develop and surpass our division goals. Don't forget to explore ASCLA on the web at ala.org slash ASCLA. The majority of our content is hosted or linked to here, and there is a lot of room for growth. Our Web Services Manager, Andrea Hill, can be contacted about contributions to the site, updates, especially to the interest group activities, and feedback. We look to our members to keep us current online. ASCLA provides a number of opportunities for continuing education, both on-site at ALA conferences and online year-round. ASCLA offers more than 10 conference programs each year and around 8 to 15 webinars and online courses. We make every effort to ensure that all interested participants have full access to these learning and training materials. Listed here are a few of our most recent courses and webinars, including courses on video captioning and correctional librarianship and webinars on assessment tools and electronic resource accessibility. ASCLA's online learning committee helps ensure that our presenters are experts in their fields and respective areas, and that subjects are timely and relevant to the work of librarians and library supporters. Your ASCLA membership discounts all of our online programming. Please consider submitting a proposal, suggesting a topic or host, sponsoring an idea yourself or with an interest group, or just spreading the word. Non-ASCLA members are welcome to submit, present, and participate as well. ASCLA Interface is an online compilation of member news, field updates, program reviews, product info, questions, and more, and we love to hear from you. This is a quarterly publication. Two issues cover the ALA conferences, and the other two are usually dedicated to a population specific to ASCLA members. Although our interface editor may request certain types of articles for specific issues, members are free to submit pretty much anything, from articles of interest to a great story from work. Not a bad way to get published! We're always looking to expand the scope of the publication, and it's another great way to stay in touch and share our work throughout the year. Members should also keep an eye on their inboxes for our monthly newsletter, ASCLA Direct, which compiles all the latest news, events, opportunities, deadlines, and announcements into one handy email from the ASCLA office. For many of us, networking is a huge reason for participating in professional organizations and development. Luckily, there is an incorporation of networking in almost every potential means of ASCLA involvement. Do take opportunities to connect with other ASCLA members. The intimacy of the division allows for frequent run-ins, easy communication, and getting to know people fast. I always felt welcomed and right at home during my first ASCLA events, and it's easy to speak directly with division leadership. We don't have a lot of layers of bureaucracy to wade through for your voice to be heard. Outside of conference time, there are many options for continuing discussion via listservs, forums, interest group calls, social media, and more. Can't get enough of us? ASCLA even offers an exciting international trip about once each year. We hope you'll join us in whatever ways are most interesting and comfortable for you. 
there's a wide range of ways to become more involved in ASCLA. Just a little bit of time goes a long way, and your support is vital to our accomplishments and our contributions to the library world. Becoming a committee member or running for ASCLA office is easy. Speaking from experience, while still in library school, I was immediately placed on a committee after inquiring and got to know the ins and outs of the division very quickly, which led to further involvement. Explore your options. Even without committing to a specific role, you can make a difference with your attendance at ASCLA programs, your submissions, votes, and feedback as members, and of course, sharing your professional interests, experiences, and expertise. Our thanks, as always, for support of ASCLA 101, and pretty much everything else, goes out to Susan Hornung, ASCLA's Executive Director, Andrea Hill, our Trusty Web Services Manager, Marianne Braverman, Marketing and Programs Manager, and Leanne Wood, Membership and Awards Coordinator. These ALA staff members accompany ASCLA through all journeys and endeavors and keep things running smoothly, both behind the scenes and on-site during conferences. Thank you again for following this webcast of ASCLA 101. Please do not hesitate to be in touch with Executive Director Susan Hornung with questions, comments, and suggestions. We're looking forward to hearing from you.